are installing our wood burning stove and due to the pr high price of propane I will have a wood burning stove before that so now is the time we're gonna rip this closet out today out here is a chimney we're gonna put a wood burning stove in right here I don't have an alternative fuel source for this house we need to have a secondary source I always like to have options. I hope you do too. Have fun watching. Okay, let him rip. Oh, hit it. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do a little more. Now we're talking. <laughs> Embed the hammer right in. There you go. Okay, we're looking at my Defiant flashlight. It's a wonderfully bright, powerful light. One click on, one click off. I've got a, a tactical LED flashlight review video you definitely want to watch. And it shows just how powerful these are. But I do want a high powered light so I can take my, my mirror that I've got right here. It's a, it's a mirror, a, a mechanics tool mirror. What we want to do is look up the chimney with it. You'll see how it works in a second. Okay, we are looking at where the chimney ends hopefully there's not too many bad spiders in there we're looking at where the chimney terminates the end of it is right here you can see it finishing out there it's run or starting its run and then this uh, tough on the fingernails uh, there we go now we'll look inside here look at that icicles <laughs> oh it's so darn cold okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine the light. I'm going to extend this guy out. There we go. Now my mirror is extended out. Now I'm going to go down inside there. Well, the plan is to shoot this light up the chimney. Can you see that in there? It's kind of hard to see, but I'm shooting the light. There it is, right up there. If you can see the mirror, you can see. Um, it's, it's better to do this in the daylight which I've already done. But you can see the yellow tiles all the way up. See that? The point is that we're, we've got to, you've got to look up the chimney, which like I said, during the day I already did with a high powered light and it looks wonderful with the yellow ceramic tile square line, chimney liner. So now we're good to go. I'm gonna go outside and inspect the chimney. In some chimneys, there's a clean out outside. This one does not have it. So let's look at our chimney. No cracks, no air gaps. The tuck pointing looks to be in good shape. We'll continue up the chimney. See what I'm talking about by a high powered flashlight? How wonderful that is. Chimney looks fantastic all the way up. All right, well let's get to work and poke a hole in this thing. This is the best spot in the house to put a modest wood burning stove. It's going to sit on the platform where all that stuff is right there. Now I've identified where the chimney is and I've opened up the wall and we will be putting a hole right where that circle is. We're gonna drill through the brick, knock it out, put a pipe, mortar a pipe in there. This is an existing chimney. It's about 100 years old, just over 100 years old. The house was built in 1909, it's now 2014. This ruins this door and got a good quality quarter inch carbide drill bit. Here it was long enough to go through the brick of the chimney and the liner. Okay, go ahead, drill away. Well, now it's time to knock out the chimney. And we've got a little helpful air hammer. So we're gonna pop that out of there. Well, if you don't have one of these, this is gonna be a long day for you because this is really tough work. A little bit more effort than uh, meets the eye, but We've got to the liner. We've got holes punched through the liner. Well, we've made headway here. The bricks are now been removed. Now we need to get to that liner that's in there 
And I'm very grateful that we didn't hit a seam in it. And it looks like we are going to be able to chip that out of there and have a uh, stovepipe hole and shortly. Here we go. Now we're going to chip out the, uh, the liner. Carefully. Well, the chimney is now cut open. You have to be very careful. The air chisel worked beautifully. And now we've got our opening that our pipe fits in there very nicely. Look at that. It's just a very nice fit. Now we're at the consistency I want it to be in. So it's like kind of like peanut butter. It'll kind of hold its shape, but yet it's squishy too. The smoother the better. Then we'll work our pipe in there. That's where the water kind of comes out of it. There's a little bit of an edge up here at the top. I think I'm going to put the seam down. There we go. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. You want it to bond all together like one continuous piece of Okay, got the last little bit of mortar. It's almost done, and I'm packing it in there like, like this. We'll build it up a little bit as well around the edges. Make sure your mortar is mixed very well. That way it's not, you don't find any areas of powder and it's more consistent. Well, it's about six degrees outside, and we've got, I'm letting this stay open to let the chimney stay a little bit warm, run some hot air or warmer air through, and there's our, there's our pipe protruding out of the chimney. Hopefully you can see, boy, that, that, You see how smooth that is? Nice. Hi folks. Well, we're on, on the second leg of the journey and that's the hookup. We've got the platform built temporarily. We're going to, uh, before we lay the tile, we're going to lay the tile later when it's warmer. That way there's no issue of cracking or anything like that. So for now we're going to put our uh, fiber rock uh, on the back side. And then uh, we're now we're connecting the chimney. So there, the chimney is double wall, now we're going to single wall. I want single wall just so we get the heat out of the pipe. And it all gets screwed together with three or four screws. Now what I'm going to do is this some people suggest to get uh, collapsible, adjustable sections of pipe. Well, I agree with that. That's the easy way. Or you can uh, buy one of these guys for like, I don't know, I think it was like 15 bucks. Sheet metal shears. At, uh, I think they were Harbor Freight. And I tell you, I've already saved the money on this section of pipe right here. I cut it to size. And then this section of pipe, I measured all the way around. And you can see my line right there. And I'm going to cut along that line with the sheet metal shears.
there you go. Now I've got a cut. I wonder if I can do this. Cheat the system a little bit. Instead of using a hacksaw, I'll use my head. Now this is a pretty... This took me five minutes to do this. Now I just saved another, I don't know, well the pipe was five bucks, uh, 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 an adjustable one like this would be 35 bucks, so I just saved 30 bucks. Not too bad for five minutes. Now we're good to go. Just so you know, when you see a piece of pipe, the way it works is the crimped edge always points down. So whenever you're doing a pipe, sometimes you ask, well, the crimped edge always points to the stove. So that's just an easy way to remember it. All right, here we go. Here comes the hookup. All hooked up and ready to go. Hey folks, we have our chimney in. It's screwed together with the screws. Now we're adding the fire brick. So what we do is the best thing for ash is not 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 hot ash, but cold, is to take. Uh, we've got a rainbow vac, and what that is is a vacuum cleaner with a water filter in the bottom. So we turn it on. And vacuum all that excess junk out of there. You've got the flu control right there. You've also got the air control right here. If you notice, it, it goes from big to little. Simple, but yet it works. It just opens up some, some holes to let it breathe more, and then your fire gets hotter and hotter. We've got this temperature gauge, and... We're running good and hot right now. And we got fire. It's up and going. Our little uh, magic heat just turned on. There you go. Now I have my alternative heat source. But it's working beautifully. We're very, very pleased. And it's putting out a lot of nice heat. We're wrapping things up here, doing the drywall. We removed the ceiling fixture there and moved it out there with a little frog eye light that will shed a nice light on top of the wood burner that'll be there. Well, we're gonna put the, the thimble, it's called a wall thimble in place. And basically everything in here, this is meant to be an open area where there is no combustibles anywhere near. So there you go, the, the insulation's already in, in place. So then uh, just a little more trimming, and then the thimble will go in place, and we'll button this thing up. There you go, folks, we're ready to do the tile now. <clears throat> Notice the cement board, wherever that, uh, any kind of heat would be, we put cement board behind where the stove is gonna be. So now we're ready to tile. And we've got our wall thimble, it's all to code, and it's all good. So, here we go. Hi folks, we are on the final lap, <laughs> if you want to call it that, of the wood burner project. And the tile is in place all the way to the ceiling. We've added a little light to shine on the stoves to make it more of a uh, display so it looks really good. We've got the stair tiled, the second stair tiled. So it's kind of buttoned up. The only thing left is a little bit of trim work and connecting the chimney. So once that's done, we open it up, fire it up. When you connect the chimney, an important thing, you should have three or four screws all the way around. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four. You can see I've got this screwed together already. So now I'll get it back in position 
and put the, the rest of the screws in the holes and so forth. Well, now the chimney is completely hooked up. All the screws are in place. It's actually fairly solid. It doesn't move around too much, which that's what you want. You don't want to have a fire going, then you walk away and something happens and an earthquake or whatever, and your chimney falls off and burns the house down. That wire you see is from the magic heat right there. That extracts more heat out of the effluent gas and puts it in the house. And it, it turns on and off automatically. Oh, another note, this is a magnetic thermometer. But if you notice, there's a little wire right here. And I've been told, I've never experienced it, but if it gets too hot, that magnet may fall off. And let's say you had carpeting down here. Well, it rolls in the carpeting and starts the carpeting on fire. Yeah, I guess they've thought of everything. Can't really see it. Well, there you go. We're doing the fire brick now inside the stove. I've replaced the broken pieces, as you can see right here, uh, with the new pieces. I've actually got another stove. I took them out of the other stove that's in the garage. So we're going to finish this up. It's all cleaned out in there. So we'll finish this up. We're going to put the non-pitted good side in facing out. Okay, see that? There we go. In the back, back looks good. And now the last piece. Let's slide this open. Kind of like a big jigsaw puzzle. And then we'll put this guy. All fire bricked, ready for fire. Well, here we are, finally enjoying the fruits of my labor. Pull up my easy chair, enjoy the fire and the heat from it. We're up to temperature. If you look at that gauge, I know you can't see it. And I'll try to zoom in on it. I don't think it'll focus very well. But anyway, we are up to normal operating temperature. The magic heat fan just turned on. So we're reclaiming some of the heat that's going out the chimney. And now we are really enjoying our wood-burning stove. It took a long time to get here. It was a long process. This year we have our alternative fuel source, which we are going to use it extensively. And we're going to enjoy it. And we even put a little light up there to shine light on the stove itself. And one last thing is I'm enjoying my cup of cowboy coffee as I enjoy my wood-burning stove. That's good stuff. So, folks, um, I'll put a link in there for the cowboy coffee, and you can learn how to make that. And I sure hope this encourages you. If you're contemplating putting in a wood-burning stove, I am not a professional installer of wood-burning stoves, but I do know I have worked on my skills, and that's another encouragement for you guys is to work on your skills. You never know when you're going to need them. Here is one example of we need it, and now we're enjoying it. Well, I hope this has helped you and encouraged you and even uh, given you the confidence to go ahead and rip into a project like this yourself and have an alternative heat source in your home. Thanks for watching this video.